Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> I'm sure I look like hell, but that's okay. Just back from Costa Rica. I'm in Tokyo right now, and uh, yeah, I'm paying for that Costa Rica trip. But uh, it's mid-April, and the first snakes of the year could or should be out. So let's go have a look. All right, this might hurt a little. Yeah. <laughs> a little painful on the eyes, but... Uh, that looks like a nice day out. Let's go find some snakes. Actually gonna get some uh, breakfast of sorts, some sushi and Red Bull. Because as you can see here, it's like uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I think I'll have a better shot of finding snakes once it warms up a little. Alright, so out of the hotel. It's a bit windy, as you can see. Someone, uh, well maybe it was me that left my window open. I'm not sure. but. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to walk over to my spot. It takes about five minutes, and let's go find some snakes. Oh, can I walk? No? All right, thank you. All right, so um, I'm trying to find a way around right now and not get run over at the same time. Uh, that sucks. I don't know exactly what that sign said. I saw January and February. Now, it's April now, so uh, best case scenario... Next year? Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll find a way back there. All right, so I haven't been to Japan in about a month, and it's hard to tell the indicators of, you know, snake activity. A big one for me is insects. If I can find insects on the road, in the bushes, uh, butterflies are the easiest ones to spot. Uh, then I know spring is here, and there's a good chance I'll find a snake. Another sign of the frogs. If you hear the frogs, which I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but yeah, a lot of frogs. A lot of frogs means lots of things for the snakes to eat, so uh, good signs. Another good sign here is when they flood the rice fields. Um, you know, that's what spurs the tadpoles and then the frogs. I always like little farms like this. I don't know what it is about it, uh, you know, the deep color of the earth, the, the rich brown against the green of the plants or what it is, but I dig it. Some of the land back here is really beautiful. Well, all right, so I'm not going to lie, those are some creepy looking scarecrows. <laughs> I don't know how well it's going to focus either on me or on what's going on behind me, but uh, yeah, this sort of sucks ass. Yeah, this used to be right here. There was a pond here with lots of turtles. It's gone. The bamboo force that was up against it, all gone. Uh, all right, so I'm starting to have a really bad feeling about my area. And, and just all of this area, to be honest. Oh, uh, and here's yet another area that was all forest back there. All forest last year. Look how big that is. They've taken that whole area and destroyed it. That's just bamboo snapping back there. All right, so I've made it to the end of the road that I normally walk, and I literally don't recognize this place, like, at all. It was all bamboo forest. I don't know what the hell this thing is here. And uh, they're just tearing the whole place down. It is really sad to see. All right, so the construction stops right here, which the whole thing just sucks. Um, but my boards are right here, and it looks like they're not coming this direction, so, you know, maybe I'll find a snake. Maybe I'll move all the snakes I find from now on. I, I really don't know, because, uh, you know, they're starting there, but who's to say there won't be a parking lot over there next? There's my first piece of tin there. I might save it for last. Oh, heck, I'll just hit it first. Here, hold on. All right, can I find my first snake of the year in Japan? Not that easy. More pieces to flip. Usually early in the season there won't be anything way out here. It's too far away from the main rock pile. But I'll still look. 
All right, so the main rock pile's over there, and that's where the snakes will probably show up first. But historically, this has been my best piece here. So I've got the GoPro out. Um, let's see if it's recording. It's recording. I'm going to set this down just in case. You probably won't see anything, especially because it's not working. <laughs> Maybe it's not charged. All right, forget that. Let's just flip it. Come on, give me my first snake of the year and help make my day. There we go. Oh, yeah. Woo! Hold on. All right, so I set the camera down. I don't know how well this is going to show, but this is a large Japanese rat snake. Uh, the largest one I've ever found. And I have been bitten by one of these right in the eye. So I'm being a little bit cautious. I'll move them out on the road and get better pictures, but... Uh, this thing is a nice snake, and it is a large snake, and I am stoked right now. Look at this beast of a snake. Oh, it's probably five, five and a half feet long. Largest one of this species I've ever seen. This is always hard to do when you're solo. Work with a snake that, you know, it's not venomous, but it will give you a bite. And, you know, I'd rather not have that happen. So I'm going to walk this guy out towards the road as carefully as I can. Or at least out here where I got a little more room and you guys can see him a little better. It's almost got stripes going down it. There is a, a striped, a four striped rat snake here and that's what I thought it might have been at first. So I flipped him over real quick just so you can see how shiny he is. The color on the belly is just stunning. <laughs> I mean, like, it's unbelievable looking. I can't believe he's sitting here this long. I think I'll sit here for a minute, or five, or ten, or however long it takes, to watch him kind of uncoil. But he is just eyeballing me right now. All right, so I don't want to stress him too much. So I'm going to pick him up and put him back where I found him. Again, oh my god, look at this thing. All right, so I'm going to flip the piece back over first and then put him back. At least that's my plan. All right, so I flipped it back over. And as much as I want to take more video of this guy, I'm just going to let him go. There he goes. There he goes. All right, so how stoked am I right now? I was on a super, super downer with all the construction, and I still am. It still really bugs the crap out of me, to be honest. But seeing that snake thriving right here, um, yeah, it just it, it lifted my spirits. I have a few more pieces over there to flip, so who knows? Maybe I'll find something else. All right, so I released him back there. The main area with the rocks is here. Usually I find the first snakes of the year here. So will I find something here? Maybe. Not into that one. It's funny to go back to a place you haven't been in almost a year and try and find all this stuff to flip. At this point, if I find anything else, it's just gravy. Because I am super stoked with that one snake. Nope. Nothing. All right, well, um, I'm actually looking for my sunglasses. They're only uh, like a $10 pair of sunglasses I got, but I got them in Cabo San Lucas, and I can't go, well, actually, my son's down there right now. Maybe he can pick me up another pair. Uh, they're super cheap, but I like them, and they're around here somewhere, so uh, I'm going to look for them. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you. All right, where are you, sunglasses? More than likely, they're over here. Yep, and there they are. <laughs> cool. Big snake there, sunglasses here. Big snake, gone, sunglasses found.